Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video I will be sharing with you my 2021 vision board. So I've been doing vision boards for quite a few years now and I do find that they help but obviously because of how 2020 turned out this year didn't quite go to plan so I have I've stepped back and I've reset my thinking, we set my goals. So I will be sharing with you my vision board for the upcoming year and also some long-term goals that I have as well that I've put on there just to help me keep in mind what the smaller goals are for. This is my vision board. It's pretty big, but I've broken it up into sections. And what I did was I actually spent quite a long time like maybe a couple of weeks or so thinking over what I actually wanted in this new new year this past year like the whole lockdown pandemic was completely like the rug under our feet that was just pulled out swiftly so all my goals kind of went to pot there so now that we have the whole lockdown and pandemic in mind I've sort of I'm sort of treading a bit more lightly, a bit more carefully with my goals. Really, I'm I'm trying to go back to basics when it comes to my goals. So I really took the time to actually think of what I wanted to do in this next year. Um, implementing possibly a new lifestyle change. I have the smaller goals for the year. And I also have my long-term goals that I'm working towards. And then what I did was I wrote everything down and here yeah, I've coloured, accidentally coloured a bit in here but yeah I have my lifestyle change section, I've got my goal section and then I've got my long-term goals. I actually had a look through my past pictures like I have a selection of pictures that I've done for past vision boards and because I don't have an access to a printer right now I'm sort of reusing a few of those so once I'd figured out what I wanted to put down I then went on to write out a few notes for myself to put on the board and I looked up some like I said some of my old pictures so as we can see these are my ugh, I can't even get into so if it's all over so you can see this is my uh board so on this side here i've got my 2021 goals and these are just like the smaller things that i'm currently working towards so this is obviously the youtube um symbol to grow my subscribers i want to look more into photography get into that and then i've also here i have save and my goal is five thousand pound there this year so I've also got here a little note saying, did you go for a walk today? Because one of my goals is to actually go for a walk every single day, no matter the weather. And then here is another one. Scroll less and read more because I need to get out of that habit. I got these stickers here from Jay Shetty. I got sent a free t-shirt as I am part of the Genius community. Um, that is like the coaching community that Jay Shetty runs. So yeah, I got sent a free t-shirt and also a five minute journal, which was such a surprise, but I will definitely be starting that in the new year as well. But I thought these were really cool stickers to be putting on. I think there's another one down there. There we go. So this one's just said small steps, big priorities um, I have a few affirmations here like this one money flows to me from multiple sources yes please um, so here on this this side or this half should I say is all about the lifestyle change that I'm wanting to make so my goal is to try to wake up at six o'clock every morning and it's a struggle for me to even wake up at seven these days, but if I can, by the end of 2021, if I can start waking up at 6am every day, that would be amazing. And the reason I put 6am down is because by half past seven, I leave the house to go to work. And at the moment, when I am in work and not in lockdown, um, I get up at the very last minute. So I'll wake up at about quarter past seven, 
get changed, brush my teeth, and I'm out the door, and I have no time to sell. I have no time to wake up or anything. So I want to get up earlier to use this time to actually wake up and get ready for the work day properly. <laughs> so here, these are just reminders to drink more water. So it gradually goes up, so I need to drink more water. And also this here is to showcase that I'm trying to achieve clearer skin. Like I could know my skin can always do better because I'm trying well, I'm not really a makeup wearer. It's very rare that I'll wear makeup, so I don't have a huge makeup collection, but my skincare collection has started to grow. And obviously I'm trying to look after my skin a bit more and it has gotten a lot better, even though I still suffer with like the hormonal breakouts around here. But this is to remind me that I am aiming for that clear skin a lot with the combination between drinking more water and what well, this picture showcases is to eat more whole foods. So this is generally just like a healthier lifestyle change that I'm trying to implement in the next coming year with you know, the meditation here, like do more yoga, possibly meditate a bit more as well. Um, I'll probably be doing yoga with Adrian's um, January yoga challenge. I've been doing them for the past two or three years, I think it is now. This here is kind of like a bubble of everything that's on my board. So it has connect, be active, take notice, give and keep learning. So these are the things I'm also going to try and implement throughout 2021 is to keep learning, obviously give more, not just to charity, but just to give that bit more for people who need who need it. Um, be active, that's where my walk a day comes in, even though my job when I'm there it can, is quite physically active, like running around all the time. I just find like I need that separate activity to keep me going. Uh, connect, this is where I'm going to focus more on family time through the through the new year and then this big picture at the bottom this is just an office space and it also has a vision board here so really what I try what I want to try to do this next year is to turn the spare room into my office that way I'll have somewhere that I can actually film properly my own space where I can keep everything keep all my journals, my stationery, just like that little nook in the house where I can go to do all my online work, my editing and that. It's nice. It'll be nice to have a space to go to to actually do that instead of going from the living room to the bedroom to the kitchen. Like I feel like I need that space now. I have more of my long term, so of my 2021 20, goals here. And these are more like my long term goals. My long term goals is to have a new job. What? I don't know. This is something that I really need to focus on and be more specific about. I know that because the more specific you are with your vision boards, the more likely you are to manifest them. I also have buy, build a new home. This has been a dream for the past five, six years and that's what I'm currently saving up for. I'm okay with staying in the house that I'm in for now because it's qu quite cheap to run at the moment so I have extra money to put aside so I'm just trying to put all my energy into saving to either buy a home and renovate it or build a home. I'm open to, to both of those options because and here I've also put a passport up. This is one of the pictures that I've actually recycled from previous vision boards. So the first time I used this was when I needed to get a passport. I was adamant I was going to get a passport to go to Lapland, got my passport done within the month of putting it up, so that was amazing. But the reason I've put it up now is because obviously after this whole pandemic lockdown is done with, I would like to travel again. And along with these two pictures, these are also recycled along with the passport because the first time I actually used these, I was trying to save up to go to Lapland with Jody managed to do that as well and also Lapland it's somewhere where both Jodie and I would love to go back to so I've put it long term here because I don't know 
when we'll be able to go back there yet. I'm not really sure how long this whole lockdown pandemic situation is going to be and also now with Brexit on top of that it's going to make it harder to travel to the EU with like visas and things because when we went in 2018 we only went for a day and even though it was a magical day we loved it there absolutely loved it I think the next time we go we'd like to go for like maybe a night or two just to explore more maybe get a chance to see the northern lights because we like to travel again but I think Lapland is going to be the top priority holiday on the list so these are just like affirmations to have a look at one says a little progress each day adds up to big results what you think you become what you feel you attract what you imagine you create this is all part of my vision board and what I'm hoping to manifest in the coming year so I'd love to know if you will be making a vision board for this next coming year and what your goals are. Remember, we have pandemic in mind now, so it's easier to morph your goals around the pandemic. So yeah, that is it for my vision board. The, this is everything that I'm holding myself accountable for to try and achieve in this next year. There is no right or wrong way on making a vision board because everything is completely up to you. It is your, it's your board, your goals, so there, there's literally no right or wrong way to do it. I like pictures as, as I'm dyspraxic, I tend to forget a lot. So having this somewhere where I can see every single day and I can be reminded, like if I read this, did you go for a walk today? If see that in the morning, I'm like, right, I need to go for a walk today. Because daily routines, they just don't stick for for me because I do forget. Even though this is a vision board that I've physically made that I can put on a wall, put it somewhere where I can see every day. There are other types of vision boards that you can make. You could have a collage as your screensaver, as your desktop wallpaper. You can have vision journals where it's basically cut outs like this that you put in a journal. You could do it monthly quarterly, yearly, it is completely up to you. I tend to make one for my laptop wallpaper so I can see it there. That was, I actually had this picture on one of my uh, wallpaper vision boards on my laptop. And because I kept looking at it, I was like, I wanna go, I need to go. And I made sure that we went. <laughs> so there are a number of ways. It, don't really have to have a full board like this you could just draw a picture of what you want and hang it up somewhere there's literally like I said no right or wrong ways to do it as long as it makes sense for you as long as you are specific in what you want you're most likely to get what you ask as long as you put in the work so thank you for joining me on this video on the vision board and I hope it gives, inspires you and gives you ideas on what to put on your vision board if you want to make one. I will be doing a video on setting up my bullet journal soon and I'm going to have another vision board within that as well. So thank you for joining me today with this video and I hope it has inspired you to create your own vision boards to help you achieve your goals for the next for the new year and for also for the next few years if it's long term. Now, I would love to know, comment down below if you'll be making a vision board for 2021. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.